Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Cam Edmonds from Edmonds Woodshop. I have a brand new AF 2028-80 from Ohm Tech. This is their brand new 2023 model. So that means I have to put all the upgrades that I had on my last laser on this new one. And today we're gonna start with the LED upgrades. So let me show you how to This is what we're going to need for our installation. Obviously, we're going to need a 24 volt LED light strip. Now, this is important. You're going to need 24 volt light strip, not a 12, 24 volt. That's because our system is 24 volts. Now, what I like to use are light strips with a silicone membrane here. This is waterproof. And then it also has a 3M adhesive back so we can stick it to the walls inside the machine. And don't worry, I'll provide links to everything in the description box below. So next we have our cleaning cloth to wipe down that perimeter prior to adhering the light strip. We have a flat headed screwdriver to connect to our terminal blocks where we're putting the wiring. We have the electrical caps so we can connect our uh, single core wiring to our light strip so we can extend it so we can reach it to where it needs to go. We have our wire strippers here so we can cut back the installation on our wiring. So this is the wiring that I'm using. It's single core wiring, uh, it's 24 gauge, and single core just means it's a single strand of wire there. Just makes it easier for where we're gonna connect it. Now right here we're using our cleaning cloth to clean the perimeter of where we're gonna stick the LED light strip. Now some people choose to use acetone or alcohol, that's totally up to you. So prior to actually installing the light strip, you're gonna wanna map out where it's gonna go around the perimeter of your laser. For example, you're gonna to wanna to have the wiring side start somewhere along this edge because you want the wiring to feed through underneath this little lip right there, okay? And then if you look, let's see if you can see that. You see the wires? So the wires right there are gonna go through that little clearance hole and they're gonna reach down to the other side over here where your electrical components are, where we're gonna attach. So I forgot to mention, you will need a pair of scissors once you get to the end of where your light strip is, and then you just simply cut off the excess and put it away for later. So there will be a little scissors symbol right there where you can cut it if you plan on reusing this, and then you just save it for later. So now we're ready to connect the wires, and I'm gonna use the red and black here, and I've already stripped the ends and we're gonna feed it through that clearance hole here. You can see that we have our wires fished through the hole right there. So if we come around to our side panel, right here, just open up this panel, and then look up there, our wires come down right here, okay? So let them hang down to about this point because this is where we're going to connect it down here. But let's connect our LED light strip first. So this wire right here is from our LED light strip that's right here. And then these wires are what we're going to connect to it. So I'm simply going to connect or cut each one of these. Move that out of the way. I'm gonna strip this. And then 
red goes to red and black goes to black. Your red is you're going to be your 24 volt. Take your wire connector here or your wire cap. Put them in there. Let's just twist them. And then put them in. Make sure it's tight. There's one. And then black goes to black. Put the wire nut on. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fish the connected ends through. And I'm going to take the wire caps, the ends, and I'm going to feed them back through here and pull everything down so these wires are out of the way. So we pulled the wires through right there and you can see the electrical caps right there. So I'm just going to tuck this out of the way. And you can see I pre-stripped the wires. And we're going to connect it to the 24-volt source on your controller. So it's simple. Unplug the terminal block right here. You'll see there's some screws. Let's see if we can zoom in on here. There's some screws right in there. So if you grab your screwdriver, I'm gonna do one side at a time. Now the initial time you loosen this, it could be pretty tough. So just work with me. You take the red end, once you get it nice and loose, the red end will slide up in there with the pre-existing red wire. Just tighten it. And you're going to loosen the other side. So in this case, this one's blue on mine, but you're just going to stick your black wire in there once you get it loose. Black wire is in there. Tighten it up. There you have it. Now you're just ready to plug it back in. And there it is. So you can choose what you want to do as far as your wire management, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna push these out of the way for right now. But you can use these channels, these channels, however you want, just to make your life easier. So now that we're all set up, we're going to do a test fire in three, two, one. Look at that difference. Holy moly. Let there be light. So here it is again. Once we turn the light off. Look at that difference. All right, we got the 24 volt LED light strip installed on the OMTEC 80 watt laser. Now, I just wanna reiterate that it has to be a 24 volt LED light strip, all right? It cannot be a 12 volt. All right, there's plenty of different brands out there that offer 12 volt systems. Get a 24 volt LED light strip, all right? It's important. Uh, other than that, I will leave links to everything that I use in the description box. And then if you have any questions, comments, leave it down below. And then as always, like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys later.